What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we are playing Game 39. In our rank up series, where we will be taking my girl Chiquita Grinface all the way from novice to grandmaster, playing free for all progressive unfiltered. Uh, settings as usual global domination, world domination on the, today's map is Asia 1800s, map of the week, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we don't have any. Uh, progressive cards, bounce, blitz, dice with nothing fancy, no fog, no blizzards, no alliances. I'm in the second position, in position one. We have General Dow, 13050 from Turkey, with one hour played and two ranked losses and no wins. Blue player is brand new. In position two, we have myself. This is the rank of count, Chiquita Grinface, flying the rainbow flag of the Seychelles. With 17 hours played, 30 wins and eight losses, we are currently a master ranked, 10,373. I have the Japan start. Hmm. Don't love it. Hundred percent rolls on Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Going against my better judgment. Starting off with an insanely strong start in Japan. Not so much juice anywhere else on the map. In the third position, we have Emmanuel Butler flying the flag of Iran. 70 hours played with 27 wins and 99 losses. In position four, we have Maitre Ibu. Uh, Mother Owl, flying the flag of the French Southern Territories, 84 hours played, with 38 wins and 261 losses. In position 5, we have General Hirota, 13040, from India, 3 hours played, with no ranked games. This is their first ranked game. Okay. And finally, in the last position, Haley Frappe, flying the flag of Canada. And the black player's record is 307 hours and 233 to 535. Let's kill black first, <laughs> if at all possible. All right, all things being equal, my chips will be on black. What I want to do is I want to keep my second position in Central Northern Asia. I'm going to work into the Korean Peninsula. It looks like I'm going to hold the bonus. I'm going to get extra troops. I mean, if you take a... Take a free bonus turn one, and nobody can contest you this strong. I'll get some value out of the extra troops. Yeah, I want to move this three out of green's way, so green can take Afghanistan. I also want to kill black. Yeah, we see a bunch of our opponents making multiple attacks. We probably don't want to be doing that. Does black buff the two? He does not. Black can consolidate his exterior position. Cool. So black has all of his material in one place. This is one thing I recommend you guys don't do. I'm kind of hunting this guy. All things being equal, I should make him dead. Mini at bonus troops. From holding a continent. My next turn is obvious. I'm going to attack up, and I'm going to move my three into my two. Maybe move it away, just to take the pressure off a bit. Really strong hold on Japan. No rush to take the second bonus. And we're sitting with a five stack in Tibet. I don't think black rolls it. Red player has all of his material in China with a little exclave of three off 
to the west in India. It's Taiwan. And pulls back. Just leaves a four. Okay. What does white do? White has a very large 10 stack at the bottom of Vietnam and Cambodia. Doesn't use it. White's in three positions. White looks like they're reasonably good as well. Green player. What does green do? I'm at risk of losing either of those to green accidentally. I assume green doesn't know what they're doing. It's going to hit the one. See what black does. They probably want to get me the hell out of their space. That four goes into the six. Yeah, no, into the five. Okay. Cool. Blue player continues to work on Indonesia. Maybe they capture it this turn. I have an unfriendly neighbor on my border. Sure are taking a long time to decide what to do. And that's their turn. They do get a card in the nick of time. Okay. I'm going to build up to eights now. I'm going to get out of that bonus in case Black wants it. Bring that up to a four. Hang out just underneath the black layer. Let them roll greens four instead of mine. Okay, white's gonna hit this. White's looking to control, uh, uh, sorry, red is looking to control China. You don't usually see players go for the big continent. He thinks this connects that way, which it doesn't. This is an important thing to remember. The Shanghai territory does not connect to Manchuria or Korea. None of that. It only connects to Shenzi, Peking, and Hunan. Okay, white leaves. White puts themselves in two positions. Red still in two. Blue's in three, four positions. I think since I'm in the second position, there's no bots, and I'm holding a bonus, I'm happy to skip. I know that's really going to piss off Curls, but it is what it is. Okay, my single in India. And, and we roll 4v2s, eh, green? Putting red in a single position. It's a low scoring game. We haven't seen anyone make a big punch yet. Do we see black finish to bet? No. Blue player does not take Indonesia. Let's bring these up to nines. Remove 
Black's final exterior position, putting them in a single spot in the center of the board. Red player now has an easy line to take China. Hmm. White signal for 15 that can go down. <coughs> can also go into China. Green skips. Okay. I don't know why you'd skip in green's position. Very low scoring game. I got three 10 stacks, one in South Korea, one in Kyushu, and one in Burma. And we have a four stack in Afghanistan. Happy to skip there. I'm at 37 troops. Okay, Red's finally going to take China, which you never see on this map. Wow. What's China worth? Eight? Seven. That's the big bonus. Let's see if they hold it. White doesn't break. I don't think black breaks. Don't think green breaks. Maybe we see a China hold. Maybe green does break. 7v3. Maybe green does break. Very slow Asia 1800s game. <clears throat> Wouldn't have expected this. Get a card, green. Or does green skip again? Green skips again. Interesting. Green wants the big set. Or green just doesn't know what they're doing. Alright, does black break? My guess is no. Looks like no. Cool. We're going to let red have seven extra troops. They're going to catch right up to me. But they're going to be forced the second trade. Okay, blue sets in early. No, blue sets in now. Right, blue gets the four. Do they finish Indonesia? Yes. Do they break me? They're trying to get some value out of there too. No. Do they hit 5v2? <laughs> oh, they hit the white player. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Yeah, well, white dies. <laughs> white is now stuck with five cards in a ten stack. I am not lined up to kill him. Okay, I think red is, and I think red will. Start their turn with 10 troops. And now they're going to look to guard. So red's thinking very small. They're thinking like they're playing fixer. Like, I got the best bonus. I'm going to guard it. I'm going to build up my territories on the border. They also force set the six. If they don't kill red, red will set and get the eight. Or white, rather. White will set and get the eight. So white will have uh, 21 stacks the top of the map. Yep, red just gets an easy take playing it like it's fixed. I'm going to put them in a single position by removing the far western piece of India named Bombay. Okay, white sets and gets the 8. Sit with 21. They hit blues 5, I betcha. In Vengeance. Okay, I think I can kill blue. Blue has 15, I can hit that four. Yeah, I can easily kill blue. All right, blue's a fish. Great. And this will be where I show my opponents my speed for the first time. Black's gonna set, black is going to get the 10, so I get the 12 to kill blue. Does green skip again? Green just doesn't know how to play. Yeah, they don't get a card. Not really worried about green. I'm perfectly lined up to kill blue. Unless they have a lucky set on three, they're the fish. No set, no set, no set. Yeah, no set. Blue dies. Sweet. So blue get four cards set again. Can I chain that into anybody else? No, I still can't really reach white. Get a hundred percent roll. Just put a big ass stack here. Remove red's exterior position. I'm holding four cards. I don't think I have a match. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I have 30 stack in the middle of the board. Gonna need to kill somebody next turn. I think that somebody is white. Not really threatening to red. Took the pressure off their border. They get an easy take on me, pull back to China. Love it. 
I can work around red and green while I pick off white and black. Oh, look at that! White has cards! Lucky, lucky! And they piss off red. Cool. So I haven't broken red. White has. Green doesn't clearly know what they're doing. But they're going to break me in Indonesia, I betcha. Also, another thing about this map to remember, Andaman Islands do not connect to Sumatra. You have to go through Malaysia. You can't go direct this way. Are you guys going to let me hold Indonesia too? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That's way too much territory to hold. Okay, they want India. Cool. They get India, I guess. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> oh, I have to be able to kill green, right? What am I going to get? Five, six, seven, plus six. Thirteen on my thirty. Yeah, he breaks right on. He thinks that connects and it doesn't, so he has to go around. Yep, sounds good. Connect my army as I'm now still at 42 stack in Burma. I can kill any of these guys. The sets are 25. I think the fish is green. Red doesn't say. Red's going to be holding five cards. All right. Here we go for the sweep turn. What does white do? Okay, so if green sets ahead of me... If black sets ahead of me, the set will be 30 and 35, I'll get. Okay. Yeah, with the 35, I kill red, I kill everybody. Unless black sets and kills red. Which is what I think will happen. Oh man, hit that 30. Yeah, black's going to set and kill red and set again. No set on four, right? Green is just dirtling about. Wasting their entire turn. Yeah, oof indeed. All right, and there's green's turn. And set kill red. Set kill red. Let's see it. Good for black. Now what happens? He's got time. Okay. Good rolls. Could be bad for me if he starts hitting me next. Let's see if he hits me. It's 35. I think he kills white. Sets again. Ooh, it's gonna be a sweep turn for black. Oh no! I die. Okay, I'm now essentially in a 1v1 with the black player.
Got him. Set in. Kill Green and Bob's your uncle. Good game, guys. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Defeating a novice, a novice, two intermediates, and a master. And we rank up to 9,055. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.